All right. So I'm going to take a, a couple more here. Um, so what is Composer and where do we get it? So you, it, the Composer is actually a free uh, product and it comes with Theme Studio. So you download Theme Studio for free and you get Composer. And Composer is basically a 2D animation package. Um, does Theme Studio assistance supporting animation within regular apps? So the answer is yes, you could use Composer to actually produce uh, SVG Tiny 1.1 and with oh, uh, apps created in OS's 4, 6, and up, you can actually integrate uh, that SVG Tiny within those applications. Um, one more question, uh, can you create animated icons? Uh, yes, you can. You can do that. So when you focus in, you can actually have the an uh, icon animate, do an animation. So you have three different states, basically, on any object. So you can have focus in animation and activate when you actually press the button, and then when you focus out of the uh, actual button, too, you can have an animation. So, yes. So the next question that we have here is, can I create a theme of... Uh, my favorite movies are musical artists. Absolutely, you can. Uh, the one trick, though, is if you want to sell them on BlackBerry App World, you will need to have the rights for that artist, uh, including their images, their songs, or any other iconography that might be copyrighted. See a question here, uh, one that always everybody always wants to know, and that and that what's the percentage that that room keeps? Uh, we keep twenty percent, with eighty percent going to the vendor. Yeah, it's worth noting that that's industry leading, that everybody else is 70, 30 or worse. Uh, so, you know, we're very focused on giving you the best possible return to create a, a dynamic and, and really kind of successful developer ecosystem. One of the other questions in here that we get a lot about our webinars in general is, is there a way you can view it again if you were late or if you didn't get a chance to see it? Um, for those that, that aren't listening uh, to me speak live, you'll be able to watch it in our archive as well. And so that will be available uh, within, you know, 24 hours uh, after the webcast. All right. I'm going to take a couple more here. Um, if a ringtone is set in a theme, does, does that interfere with the user settings? So what happens when you actually set the ringtone in the theme? It will override your incoming phone um, uh, setting. So whatever you have set for that, and it will not change anything else. So that's the only one that gets modified there. Um, are we working on any significant UI changes to future devices that will require us to significantly rebuild our designs in the future? So uh, not we're not looking to do that. So basically what we've had in the past is that um, all of the older themes uh, will work on the newer devices if it's of the same form factor. So that will continue to uh, be the case. So uh, there hopefully will not be any significant rebuilds on designs and stuff like that, and everything will work great. So the next question is, is there a Mac OS X version of BlackBerry Theme Studio? There isn't at this time, but obviously, um, as mentioned earlier, please go into the issue tracker and uh, put in any other future feature requests in there, and we can look at that in the future. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to. Uh, one of the great things about the issue tracker is that the community can actually vote uh, on issues. So even though someone else might create that feature request, you can go in and vote on it to indicate it's something that you're interested in as well. And so, uh, you know, we look very heavily at that list and in and, and prioritized order to understand what the community is asking of us. So uh, the more people that are in there asking for Mac tooling support, uh, certainly the, the, the higher it is on our priority list. I see uh, some questions about support um, in question sending uh, your customers uh, somewhere for support, uh, especially if they're not familiar with how to, to get their theme up and running. Um, we'll actually make that link uh, available to you after the presentation um, as part of the presentation that goes up into 24 hours. All right. I'm gonna take a few more here. Um, so how are the hidden Today themes built as found on crackberry.com? Are they made with the Today theme and then animations? Um, most of those are actually built with, with uh, using Composer. Those are actually custom-built themes. Um, so you use Composer to build your animation, you bring that in in the theme builder uh, through the SVG file, 
and, uh, and then you're able to do those kinds of things with that. So that's a, a marrying of the two tools there. Um, how do you set the theme to allow users to change font sizes? My current theme doesn't seem to allow users to change font size. So the rule of thumb here is that if you changing a font in your controls, like your menus, your buttons, um, and then you go into your options screen keyboard settings and try to override those fonts, you can't. Um, so um, if you don't, if you want to allow the user to uh, change that font. Um, then do not change the default font settings in the controls. Um, and one more I'll take. Um, can other sounds be modified besides phone ringtones, uh, email, messengers, Facebook? Uh, currently, no, but we're looking into that. So we have a question here as to whether or not themes can be sold on sites other than BlackBerry AppWorld. And the answer is absolutely. Uh, in fact, we encourage our partners uh, to have to take advantage of the multiple channels that are out there, including BlackBerry AppWorld. Uh, we have a question. Um, how long will it take for my, my theme to be approved? Um, generally, it's uh, eight to 10 days, although we are vastly improving that every day. Um, also keep in mind um, that Eight to ten days is if everything goes as as planned. There's there's no issues with either the theme or the content of the theme. Um, we we do try to push it through as as quickly as possible. Okay. Um, another question is how do you set the theme to rotate the background images uh, or set uh, certain images for certain times? Different image at night, different image at day. So you can. Um, Definitely set up the rotation of the background images. Once again, you can use Composer to do that. Just bring all your different images in to Composer. Um, set up an animation. Space the images apart as far as you want them to change time. And loop that animation when you export. Bring that in the theme builder, and there's your home screen. Um, currently, there is no way to do time-based things. So. If you wanted your home screen to change at night and bring up the moon and stuff like that, and in the morning the sun comes up, uh, you can't currently do that. Um, and do you have to create scaled themes for each individual device manually, as in previously in Plasmic? So um, when you're going from one device model to another device, so you will have different sizes right now, and those are images. Um, so anything that is an image, you'll probably want to go in and scale that to make sure it looks proper on those devices. So the next question is, can I use a custom font in creating a theme? And the answer is yes. BlackBerry Theme Studio will work with any fonts that you have in your system. However, if the font is not directly supported on the BlackBerry, it will actually rasterize the font. So you can get a particular look and feel, but it will increase the size of your theme slightly. So, so uh Someone has a question, um, what do you look for in the way of documentation when signing up as a vendor? Um, two things that we look for are either notary or proof of, of, of your company or incorporation. Uh, those are the two documentation, pieces of documentation that we do look for. 